What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba Group Holdings with the ticker symbol BABA. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So the last time I looked at BABA was this week Wednesday and you can see that it did continue to push down lower. I had this arrow in place just in case if price did want to continue to push down lower. This was a measure move down. So this was one large leg down. Price bounced off the trend line. It continued higher, but you can see that on Wednesday or on Thursday, there was a huge gap down and price could not find support at the 91.27 level. Now we are below it and the EMA. So is this the end for BABA? Or are we gonna still see higher prices? Well, it did bounce from the trend line today, so that's a good sign. But like I said before, this measure move is in play. So the bears are trying to reach the opposite side of the orange range because we did see a double top at the highs and we saw a triple bottom at the lows. So this is definitely looking like a range pattern, uh, this orange structure in play. So if we hit one side, price will attempt to reach the opposite side in the form of two attempts. So just like for the bulls, they made one leg up right here. And then this was the second leg. And you can see the second leg was at the top and they met it. Uh, so the same thing for the bears. So they hit one side and they're trying to reach the opposite side in the form of two attempts. So right now we bounce off the trend line that I had drawn before too. So what can occur if the price is going to be bullish is if it goes up and then we see another drop that fails, that would be a very good sign because that would tell me that the sellers tried once to go lower, tr twice to go lower, and it's not being able to go lower. So most likely it's going to do the opposite, which is go up. So the market moves in twos. So that's the rule I use to structure uh, where price will be going next. So if I see that the bears, you know, try two times to reach this target and it fails, then this, that means there's a good chance the bulls will come in and continue to push up the price. However, uh, if that doesn't occur, we might just see price push down lower, pull back, and then continue down like that. So that would be two legs down also uh, toward the opposite side of the range at the $80 level. So that can also occur. So again, it just depends on if we hold this trend line or not. I don't know for sure. Um, it's really hard to say you do you could say that the range is favoring the bears because price did hit the top and go to the bottom uh, But we do have this upward trend line and you know price did hit the highs right here and we stopped right over here at the trend line So, you know, it's kind of up in the air right now uh, Are we gonna hit the uh, 102 level or are we gonna reach the $80 level? Well, you know, it depends uh, if this trend line will hold or not I mean, but this is practically the only thing holding prices. So that's not a good sign either uh, it would need to get back above the $91 level because it was prior support. Now we're back below it, which is not a good sign. So if anything, it's probably leaning more towards the downside um, situation occurring, which is just price breaking down lower th through this trend line, maybe pulling back and then dropping down again. Or we can just continue dropping down at a sharp uh, impulse, just like this right over here. So again, this trend line is practically the only thing I see holding price up. So that's not a good sign. Um, so I'll be looking for more downside for BABA if it breaks this trend line. If somehow it does hold the trend line and the bulls do manage to push up prices, then I want to see it hold again above the $91 level. And that would probably be a very good sign because that would tell me that the bears are, are not able to reach the target. So there's a good chance that price will do the opposite, which is go in the upper direction. So that's how I'm looking at BABA. Chinese stocks are looking kind of weak. Uh, you know, BABA is at support, but again, the only thing bullish is this trend line. And again, trend lines aren't really like that, you know, strong compared to everything else. We do have a measure move in play. We're below the EMA. We're, we hit the top of the range. We can go to the bottom. So there's a lot of more bearish signs than just the bullish trend line. So again, if I have to stack everything uh, in favor for the bulls, it's not that much. If I have to stack everything in favor for the bears, it's actually a lot more. So I'll be looking for more downside if we break this trend line. If somehow we do, you know, find support and can't go any lower then I still want to see another drop down lower to confirm that, and then price would go higher. What would be ideal is just price go up like that, but that doesn't happen in reality. A lot of times you'll see another attempt down, something like that. Uh, so let's see if that occurs for BABA. Let's take a quick look at the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart. And again, there's a lot of things on the chart, so I don't think we need all these arrows on the chart, so let's go and erase it. So let's, until we, you know, we start seeing price move in a particular direction, I'm not going to have the arrows on here just to clean up the chart. We don't need this one. We don't need that one. So here's the weekly chart. And you can see that price is inside of this big yellow range. And then it started going inside of a smaller orange range uh, near the lows. So, you know, um, it's just waiting to go lower or higher. We're just trying to figure out what it's trying to do. Uh, as of right now, this was a very bearish week. Uh, it did bounce from the trend line. But again, uh, the only thing holding prices up is practically the trend line right now. So that's not a good sign. So we may see price, you know, go to the $80 level once again. 
and um, maybe even lower. So we'll see if that can act as support. So if we can hold the trend line somehow uh, and hold it again after a pullback, there's a good chance it will continue rushing up higher to the one or two target. So that's all I have for BABA on the daily and weekly charts. You know, it's not really as strong as before. You know, it was looking pretty good. If you didn't take this week, in, in week into consideration, it was, it was looking like prices want to go up. But somehow, you know, the um, bears, uh, aggressive bears still want to knock down prices. So again, uh, sometimes, you know, you'll be looking at a chart and it's looking bullish and the next day later it can be bearish. Uh, that's just how it is. Um, and you have to change your um, analysis. So in this case... It was looking pretty bullish. If you didn't see the last two candles on the chart, you'd be saying, okay, this looks like a V-bottom reversal. And if we can pull back and find support, we're probably going to continue higher. But then when price dump lower, just gap down, it's not looking that strong anymore. So again, it's still at support. So I'm not saying we're going go to go down to the ADL level right away. Uh, if we don't bounce from here, we could. But it, you know, if price holds, I think you know there's a chance to continue higher. But again, it's a slim chance. But um, either way, there is a chance. But if price does break down lower, then obviously the next logical area is probably to fill in this gap uh, at the 84 and then probably reach the $80 support that price has been bouncing off of since basically March of 2022. So uh, that's what I'm looking at, Baba, on the daily and weekly charts. And I'll give you guys an update next week, Wednesday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.